All right, guys, and what I meant by mixing my own paint is I meant, so I got this nice bright, it's a red orange. So, I mean, to keep it bright because the silver, I'm gonna mix silver in there and make a nice metallic color. And the silver is gonna darken it. Like if you guys watched the boat build at all, like that was kind of a dark red, almost like a blood red. And um, I actually don't have that red that I used anymore, but this was also the red that I used for the um, gas tank, I wanna say. So, I mean, that that's a nice looking red. And then um, you can see that up there. So that's more of an orange. So we might just be using this, but I'm just going to be mixing and trying to get a color that I like because, I mean, I do kind of want something to match close to the wheels if I could. I mean, otherwise, this color's pretty good. But, you know, once I add the silver, it's going to darken it. So that's why I was kind of thinking this color and darken it a little bit so that it's still bright but metallic-y. So I think I will actually be using this color because we got this and never used it. So I need something to use it on. And um, I'm going to be mixing 8 to 1 to 1. And, um, well, let's just create our color here. All right, guys. And this is the Gloss Ford Red Orange. And, you know, it's actually not as orange as I remember. So we ended up getting this stuff for the very first four-wheeler that I had painted. I actually didn't paint it. That was lot, that long ago. My dad was actually the one that painted it. So I'm going to just stir it up, make sure that it's all nice and mixed. And then... Pour a little bit in and add a little bit of silver to it and uh, try and find a nice color that I like. All right, guys. So I just put a little bit of like this. This is just for now. Um, I do want to mix a full 10 batch, but this is just ha like half for now. And uh, I got the, uh, the silver all stirred up. It's actually called aluminum enamel, but it's silver. And I'm gonna get a little bit mixed into here and uh, well, let's just get a color created. So I'll show you guys that. So I don't know how much I wanna put in yet. So I'm just gonna kind of be guessing. That's why I didn't put the full amount in there because right now I can still add red and stuff. If I don't like how like dark it's getting or anything like that, so. Just put a little bit in there. All right, that's a good amount. And let's stir this up. You guys will see how dark it gets. I mean, it looks lighter, but when I painted my boat, that, that stuff got darker. Because I looked at a piece of paper, I actually saved the wrapping from it. And, um... You, it, it, was, it was dark. Which I guess it wouldn't be horrible. But. This is also a lighter. Too, so. Also, if I would have filled it all the way up, I wouldn't be able to read the mixing from stirring it. So, it's also why I only put this much in there for now. Let's see here. Man, I remember from my boat build, I had, I had pencils. I, I got samples of the paint that I saved. So you can see the difference right there from stirring it with the silver to the original. So, I mean, this is this is probably pretty good. Um, I'm gonna add the rest of as red paint and uh, that's just how it's gonna be. So hopefully it's not like pinkish because the silver in it, but I guess we'll just have to find out. All right, guys, so I got the rest of the, of the red-orange paint added into there, so I still got to stir it, but that's going to roughly be the color. 
Um, I feel like it's gonna darken, but I, I have no idea. And I guess it's just gonna be how it's gonna be, how it's gonna turn out. You can see it for sure it has to get stirred. But, so, the orange is getting there, but it's still not fully set yet. And, um, I mean, it, it looks good. It looks really good on camera. So, I mean, I feel like this one's gonna definitely be the one. And um, it's gotta finish curing a little bit more before I put the clear coat on it. So, as I was actually thinking about this for a while too, there's the plastics right over there. Um, I thought about this idea a while ago, and so you see out here, it's the middle of winter, and it was snowing out earlier. Not much, just a flake here and there, but I kind of wanted to try and paint outside. Plus, the paint that I'm using for that is way messier than, um, like, urethane that I just sprayed on that. Plus, if I sprayed it in here, there's gonna be a lot of overspray, and you know, I don't have anywhere to put these as of right now as they're waiting to get clear coated. So, guys, I, I think I'm going to be painting those outside. So, as you guys probably know from the title already, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I got the paint right here, it just needs the additives, and it'll be ready to be sprayed. And as far as these go right now, this one is the same paint that I'm spraying right now. It's an all-in-one. That's why it's taken so long to dry. Um, and I still want to clear coat it too, just so that it's, you know, extra protection. Um, but the other ones have been ready to paint for like an hour now. So that one's the hold up. But I'm just gonna bring that plastics outside, get the paint mixed up, and get ready to spray.